Hello, my name is Paul and this is Lou. Lou is 52 years old and uh, comes to see me after having a, uh, a progressive increased pain in his leg, especially if he does any distance walking. Um, at, at this point, his distance is about a half mile uh, before he starts to develop a hardness in his calf, some paresthesia down into his foot, throughout the whole foot, not following any particular dermatome. Uh, and he even has a little loss of control of that foot uh, when he's ambulating. Um, so what I did was cleared out the lumbar spine. He has equal reflexes, sensation, and distal muscle strength before activity. Um, and then I check his uh, pulses, and I feel a nice dorsalis pedis pulse. And his posterior tibialis pulse is extremely faint, but it's equal on both sides. Um, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to take him out for a walk. Uh, probably about a half mile or so and um, see if we can reproduce his symptoms and um, we'll come back to this video and uh, show you what he looks like afterwards. Alright, so Lou and I are back and uh, if you take a look at Lou's feet, um, take a peek, you'll see that uh, he has nice color on the left side and this foot is really white. Um, we walked about maybe half a mile at a really brisk pace um, and you can even see the, the blood flow starting to come back in. I'm going to check his pulse. And it's really diminished on this side. Um, so Lou, I want you to kind of describe what you're feeling. All right, that lot feels like my calf muscle is tight as a rock right now. And it, when it's really hurting, I lose sensation in my foot. My toes kind of go numb. When you were walking also, we noticed that your foot was starting to slap, slap a little bit down, more, yeah. so you were losing yeah. control of your yes. foot. Yeah. So, um, this is a pretty classic sign of an of a exercise-induced compartment syndrome, and um, you know what we're going to do is we're going to manage this by trying to improve the myofascial mobility in here, but we want to exclude something like a, um, a popliteal artery uh, compression and or um, crimping of the uh, popliteal artery, it doesn't allow blood flow to get into the foot, but I'm pretty sure that this is a uh, exercise-induced compartment syndrome. Thanks.